Hi guys, so I'm back with another quick tip and today I want to look at another plugin by D16 which is Drumazon. Um, if you're familiar with Drumazon you'll know that it can create some very believable sounds and is probably one of the better drum emulations on the market if you're after that sort of classic dance drum machine sound. Many of you are probably using this um, and you may not be aware that you can easily route the different drum sounds it produces out to different audio channels. By default, when you load up Drumazon, it's going to have everything going out, output 1. Um, but by going into your options menu here, um, and by simply clicking and dragging up and down on the numbers that you'll see here for each of these individual instruments, you can change its output. So what I've done is gone into my options here and I've changed my bass drum to come out 2, snare drum out 3, low toms out four and so forth and you'll see that reflected here in the same way on the front side of the interface. Now the nice thing about doing that is that if you then set up individual audio channels uh, like I've done here you can name them so that they reflect the instruments that you see here and if you look at each one of those channels for example in the bass drum channel if I double click it you'll see that I've set up an external instrument and its MIDI is coming from Drumazon, and I've got the audio coming from channel 2 of Drumazon. So I've done that in each individual case, so you'll see here, for example, that the snare is coming out 3, as it is here, and the high tom will be coming out 6, so if I find that, same thing, MIDI coming from Drumazon, and I'm taking the audio from channel 6. Now the beauty of this is, as I mentioned, that you're able to then process each of these individual drum sounds and mix them, pan them, etc. inside of your DAW. Um, some of you may prefer to do that. I like to use uh, it this way if I'm using Drumazon so that I can get a little bit more tweakability, I guess, when it comes down to um, managing the sounds that the plugin makes. Uh, you'll also notice that I can do things very easily like have my closed hat and my open hi-hat in a choke group in Ableton so they choke each other off and sound more natural like a, uh, like a natural drum player would, uh, which is a technique that a lot of people would use in a drum machine, and you can set that up in Drumazon, but it's also really simple to do this kind of stuff once you've routed out to your individual channels in the, in the DAW. So that's it, really. Um, I've gone through a little bit of hard work here setting it up for you, although it's not that hard. I'll provide this uh, download as an ALP file and you can find that in the description text. Lastly, you'll notice here that I've got a MIDI file on this TR909 channel which is basically feeding Drumazon and all of the individual channels here. So when you open up the ALP, you'll see that I've already got a nice little MIDI pattern laid out with each of the individual elements that Drumazon's producing nicely named. So if you prefer, you can rewrite your own MIDI patterns and drum patterns easily uh, with this format. So that's it, and have fun using Drumazon with multiple outputs.